but I pushed him in his back, so he didn't see it coming, and his head kind of jerked, and his neck kind of snapped, and that's a little dumb funny word of my mother, so I started dying, but then this nigga dropped his bag and looked at me with the eyes of death. Now, if you ever in school and you see a nigga drop his book bag, just know shit is about to get active and static he is in the air. Yo, ain't gonna lie, I don't know about y'all, but I don't got too many friends these days. I've been dedicating more and more time to this YouTube shit, and I've really been on my grind, but as a result, my social life has gone out the window. It's getting to the point where I don't got time for no friends. I don't even got time for the pussy, nigga. I don't got no bitches. But I mean, that might not be because of this. That might just be because, well... Yeah. yeah, I ain't gonna lie, in terms of that shit, I made reverse progress. Like, if there was a chart on how much bitches I was getting over the course of my life, that shit would look like this. It's tough. To be honest, I ain't really stressing it. At the end of the day, it's really a blessing in disguise. I keep all the fake shit away, and I ain't got no drama in my life. It also means that the friends that do stick around is the real niggas. Now, one of these niggas is my longtime man. It's my son, Christopher. That nigga's so real that his parents took out the PH and put two Fs in his name. It's crazy, too, because his pop's name is Christopher spelled correctly, but they still misspelled his name incorrectly for no reason. You know why? Because they some real niggas. Anyways, though, my son Christopher, well, he's made a couple appearances in my stories before. A lot of my story times do involve this. I've known this nigga for a long time. I know him since freshman year, back when I was 4'9, nigga, 85 pounds. So basically, I damn near grew up knowing this. Nigga. I knew him from when I was a little nigga to, well, whatever the fuck I am now. Back then, I ain't gonna lie, I was way different than I am now. I was mad sherm. I was annoying as and I was immature, word of my mother. Back then, his ass, well, he was on his little depressed, emo, reserved, quiet shit. He was a Sasuke ass nigga, and he went by a wavy bang. I don't know, he must have thought that was fire. Now, if you truly think about it, these two personality styles, they don't really mix. Maybe in another universe, we would have never really with each other, but we didn't really have that luxury considering we were the only two black kids in our grade. So by nature, we automatically ended up as friends. And good thing we did, because even to this day, if I ever need some bread, I could always rely on this to get a pass it. And worry to, as long as he's doing that, he will always be my man. Now, one of my favorite things to do back then was to bother this nigga. Well, I even like to do that shit now, but back then it was way better because, like I said, he was on his Sasuke emo, gloomy, depressed pain and suffering vibes so he was never really in the mood for my playing around in my games but you see my dumb ass i just took this as a reason to bother his ass more it made the reactions even better and usually this was fun but like i said i was 49 85 pounds and back then this nigga was already six foot and damn near looked like a grown man so it could get real dangerous for me one time i up and bother him to the point where this nigga was gonna kill me. I mean, bro turned at me and looked at me with the eyes of death. And I ain't exaggerating, nigga. He was trying to kill me. But hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I right, so boom. Started off as a regular day at school, for me at least. But when this nigga Chris gets inside the classroom, you could already tell he was on demon timing. So clearly this nigga was having a bad day. I forgot exactly why he was mad, but I think he had told me it was something like, uh, he basically had woken up in the air off his bunk bed because his mom had launched him out his bed because he, he didn't want to wake up or something like that. Like I said, he had the top bunk and woke up in the air and he was sad before he hit the floor. Shit had me crying. But anyways, I was annoying him throughout the course of that day anyway, even though he was already mad. Now, over the course of the day, I can tell that his anger level was rising because at some point he just stops responding to my bullshit. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this started to get me a little tight. Like, if I'm annoying you and you're not getting annoyed, then I'm gonna start getting annoyed because that means I ain't doing my job right so we all get out of school and right outside the school building we all chilling around waiting for our friends so we all could walk home together as a little group so there's four of us outside it's me my son david my son sam and my son chris well christopher why is chris so emo right now i don't know i think he's on his period nah facts yo chris why you acting like a little bitch? yo coochie dripping Yo gang, you don't hear me? Or that measly pea brain stopped working? So funny, ha ha. Now at this point, I'm getting tight. Like, you get annoyed. F I want a reaction. Something. You wanna be depressed? Nigga, f out of here. I'm about to make you mad. So I go behind this nigga. And what the f do I do? I shoved his dumb ass. Now, look. This nigga was, like I said, six foot. And I was 4'9 and real small. So it's not like he really went nowhere. 
but I pushed him in his back, so he didn't see it coming, and his head kind of jerked, and his neck kind of snapped, and that shit looked dumb funny, word of my mother, so I started dying, but then, this nigga dropped his bag and looked at me with the eyes of death, now if you ever in school and you see a nigga drop his book bag, just know shit is about to get active and static he is in the air, now just based off that look in his eyes, I knew this was about to kill me and his depressed ass was probably gonna make that shit gruesome and torturous, so what do you think I did next, did I A, stand there and get my ass beat, did I B, apologize profusely and let him know that I didn't mean to do that, or did I C, beat that nigga ass, well, I ain't do none of them. Got that option D. That nigga was crazy. Are you dumb? Got hit 50. I was gone. I hit Jets right back inside the school. I was not about to let him catch me. And this nigga started chasing me. So now I'm running for my life through the school building. And I hear this nigga chasing me down. Trying to hawk me down and choke me out. Sam and David chasing his ass. Trying to stop him from killing me. And I realized... I think I got what I wanted, a reaction out of this shit. But now, I was risking my life, so I had to make sure I got low. Shit, nigga, you can call me pussy, but nigga, I ain't dumb, I was gone. Eventually, this crazy ass nigga realized he wasn't gonna catch me, so he got frustrated and grabbed the water fountain. Now me, I'm still hitting jets, but Sam and David, they just watched this nigga. He acted like the water fountain was me. He even had a little crazy look in his eyes. And this nigga broke the sh**. Like, actually broke the fucking water fountain in the school. And once we realized what he did, David and Sam had to hit 52. It, they was not trying to die. Clearly, this nigga was unhinged. But probably about a good two, three seconds later, he realized where he was and what exactly he just did. And, well, he hit Jets too. He just broke the fucking school water fountain. You, th you think he about to just stick around? He quickly lost track of trying to kill me we had some bigger problems to worry about we was out so after we got out to school and he calmed down you know i decided maybe maybe i'll go over and apologize to him i kind of did od for no reason so i guess the right thing to do would be to apologize so i went up to him and i was like hey man you know i'm sorry for saying all that crazy shit. you know i ain't really mean it and he was like yeah you know bro it's all right you just gotta chill out word two you be doing too much yeah you know you right i'ma chill psych it suck my dick. and i pushed him anyways let's end the story if somebody's having a rough day leave them alone and i guess i'm being a little hypocritical with this lesson because i don't even follow that shit myself but take that shit as you will i don't know you want to see one of my w's watch this video you want to see one of my l's watch this one like comment and subscribe otherwise i see y'all niggas though safety you heard